It's a problem most small airports would love to have. Booming traffic, new flights, and a scramble to keep up with demand. In an era when the majority of small airports in the nation are struggling, Sonoma County is adding flights, airlines, and passengers. That the Sonoma County Airport is running ahead of expectations is quite an understatement. Expected to reach 400,000 passengers by 2025, the airport all but reached that number last year despite the fires. And with new flights coming on board, is on track to far exceed that number this year. In the past year, Sonoma County Airport has gone from offering one airline to four, with United, American, and Sun Country adding flights to the existing Alaska service. That success has everyone scrambling. With a third airline, we did not have enough room in the gate space for three airlines. So we worked with our airport engineers, the general services department, and said, how do we accommodate the gate? The result, a 4,300-square-foot tent, high-tech, high-strength, with four podiums to accommodate all four airlines, a flexible space with room to grow. This follows the construction in just four months of a modular check-in location for American and United, the two together about $2.5 million. Also just completed upgraded sidewalks where there were none before and new overflow and long-term parking. The next goal, expanding one-hop service nationwide. Uh, the most important one for us going forward is going to be to also get a flight, a regional flight to Denver, which opens up the rest of the country for us. And then the second one is actually, of all things, our third most uh, destination-focused area is Guadalajara with our Latino community. The goal is to eventually bring customs facilities to the airport, but that may be a few years away. For now, county supervisors have approved a loan request to the California Infrastructure and Investment Bank, $16 million to catch up with work already done and provide bridge funds for ongoing projects, like the big one, design of a new, permanent 29,000 square foot terminal building, a project that has evolved and enlarged with the boom in airport business. So we're nailing down what the look and feel of that terminal is going to look like. Trying to incorporate wine country into the terminal so you get a sense of place. And it's also the front door to the community. So you feel like you're in wine country when you get to the airport. Stout says the plan isn't yet ready for unveiling, but he envisions high vaulted ceilings and an open, welcoming wine country feel. Next up, adding 3,800 square feet to the main tent so TSA and other activities can be brought together. Also in the works, a seasonal Sun Country flight to Las Vegas beginning August 30th and a hope for Department of Transportation grant providing United with startup funds to add a Denver flight. And while loan funds bridge the gap, the county is also pursuing a $20 million grant from the FAA, money for the new expanded terminal structure. Still, a growing airport waits for no one, so while those projects are underway, so is construction and the scramble to provide space for airlines and customers at an airport on the rise. In Sonoma County, Carl Van Amberg for News of the North Bay.